May 22nd. Now this explains it. That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they may also be one in us. John 17, verse 21. If you are going to explain through a solitary way, read John 17. It will explain exactly why you are where you are. Jesus has prayed that you may be one with the Father as he is. Are you helping God to answer that prayer, or have you some other end for your life? Since you became a disciple, you cannot be as independent as you used to be. The purpose of God is not to answer our prayers, but by our prayers we come to discern the mind of God. And this is revealed in John 17. There is one prayer God must answer, and that is the prayer of Jesus, that they may be one even as we are one. Are we close to Jesus Christ as that? God is not concerned about our plans. He does not say, do you want to go through this bereavement, this upset? He allows these things for his own purpose. The things we are going through are either making us sweeter, better, nobler men and women, or they're making us more captious and fault-finding, more insistent upon our own way. The things that happen either make us fiends or they make us saints. It depends entirely upon the relationship we are in to God. If we say, Thy will be done, we get the consolation of John 17, the consolation of knowing that our Father is working according to His own wisdom. When we understand what God is after, we will not get mean and cynical. Jesus has prayed nothing less for us than absolute oneness with Himself, as He was one with the Father. Some of us are far off it, and yet God will not leave us alone until we are one with Him, because Jesus has prayed that we may be.